Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 3D logo animation or 3D logo reveal tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this type of 3D logo intro using After Effects and Element 3D. First I will create my logo using ideogram.ai. Go to the link from the description and here type your command. This AI will create logo for you. I will select this logo and download it. Now open Adobe Illustrator and import our downloaded logo. Trace the logo, from here select low fidelity photo. Now click on Expand, and ungroup it. Delete in necessary parts from the logo. Now create new page with 1024 by 1024 pixel. Copy the logo from here, and paste it to the new page. Save this logo to your desktop. We will use it later in After Effects. Now it's time to open After Effects, create a new composition. I am using 1920 by 1080 pixel and 30 frame rate per second. Rename it and hit OK. Create a new solid and rename it to Logo Mask. Copy the logo from Illustrator and paste it to our Logo Mask layer. Now create another new solid, and rename it BG for background. Create another solid, and this time rename it Element 3D. We are going to use Element 3D plugging on it. Now select Element 3D layer, and go to Effects and then Video Copilot. From here select Element. If you don't have Element 3D, you can download it from the link in description. Go to Custom Layers and Mask, and here select our logo mask. Now click on the Send Setup, and it will open the Element 3D interface. Here click on Extrude, it will create a 3 model of our logo. From here, change the path resolution to Extreme. Now, rotate the logo like this. Play with its settings and adjust its size. Now, duplicate it to time and adjust its settings. Now, it's time to apply materials to our logo. Go to Pre-Shaders 2 and search for Mattel. For this logo, I will use black Mattel effects on it. Select the Mattel and drop it on our logo.
Now, just follow my steps. I will increase video speed here to skip the boring adjustment parts. By the way, if you still didn't subscribe my channel, please make sure to subscribe it. And you can join my Patreon to get all of my premium projects and templates for free. Now, duplicate this layer, and place it to the top of all layers. Adjust its position and settings. Now it's time apply another nice low material to this layer. I will select this material and apply it to this. Here you can see the effect. From here, I will change its color to some nice looking orange color. Now apply this material to this layer also. Okay, now let's create background for this. Click here and select plane. Rename it to BG for background. Also apply this black material on it. Select this layer and change its size to 100 by 100. Click here and turn off the grid for a better view. Now, change its reflection mode to mirror surface. Here you can see that, if this layer go up, there is a nice reflection effect we got. Now, select auxiliary channels for this to layer. Click OK, and back to After Effects. Here let's create a new camera. I am using 15mm camera for this logo animation. Now, adjust its position and create some camera movement on it. Go to lighting, and select this. We need to create 3 or 5 camera movement for this animation. Here I will speed up the video to save your time. You just follow me. By the way, you can download this template from the link in description. Also, if you are a member of my Patreon, you can get all of my premium files and templates for free.
Here you can see that. I added all of the camera movement for this animation. Select all of this camera and null objects. Click here and then here to hide it from timeline. Now create a new layer and rename it to glow. We are going to add glow effects on it. Go to effects and presets and search for glow. Apply it to this. Adjust the glow settings to get a nice looking glow effect on it. Create another new adjustment layer. For this time rename it to looks. Go to effects and preset. Then search for looks. Apply it on this. Now click on edit. And select a preset. I will use this effect. You can adjust its opacity from here. I am okay with this color. You can also add a curve effect on it for better result. Now it's time to add depth of fill to the logo. To add depth of fill go to camera options and turn on depth of filled. Adjust focus distance and aperture to get some cool depth of filled effects to the logo. If you are still watching, thank you so much. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification. Finally, our 3D logo reveal animation is complete. Now go to composition and render it. From here, select video format, and if you have audio turn it on, if not turn it off. Click here and select output folder, where you want to save your logo animation. I am going to save it to this folder. Click save and now turn on caps lock from your keyboard and click on render button it will start the render of our three logo animation thank you so much for watching i will be back with new tutorial soon till then take care <laughs>